Okay, so what, what happens then if the repeating component is not directly after uh, the decimal? How would we, how we go about doing that? Um, all right, so what we're going to do is uh, I, I'm gonna start, I still want to find a number that will get the decimal digit after. Uh, I want to convert, so this is n. And I want to convert this into something that um, on one side I have the repetend, on the other side I have the other digits. Okay, so uh, I'm going to I want to multiply by something so the three moves. Well, that would be 10n, so 23 with the 45 on one side, right? Okay, so then um, what I want to do is I want to multiply by something else um, where I have the first part of the repetend on the other part of the de decimal, and then the other part of the repetence. So basically, it's 0 0.454545. 45. I want to have 145 on the left, and I want to have the 0.45 on the right. So I want just to make sure that it, it lines up correctly. So because there's two decimal digits um, in the repetend, I want to multiply that by 100 times the 10n, which is 1,000n, obviously. What that's going to do is that's going to move over uh, one of the period length on the other side of the decimal. Okay. In other words, the the repeating component was two digits long. It's going to put the two-digit repeater on the left, and on the right, I'll still have the 0.45. Okay. So uh, this, by the way, 100 times 10 is 1,000 n. That's an N. Okay, so now we're going to do the subtract thing. Uh, and I'm going to, since I want to have the repeating parts cancel out, I'm going to use 10N and 1000N this time to do my subtraction. So 1000N is 235 point, sorry, 2345.45 with the repeat. And 10N is the 23 point four five with the repeat. Okay, so then I want to subtract. So a thousand N minus ten N is nine hundred and ninety N. And then on the right side, um, the point four fives that they cancel each other out and so it's just really two thirty five sorry two thousand four hundred three hundred and forty five minus twenty three leaves me with uh, 2022, and then I just divide. So the fraction I get is uh, 2322 over 990 would be equivalent to 2.3 with the 4.5 repeating. Okay, so now for a little bit of math, magic, witchery, things that make you go, what? Um, okay, so we're all pretty convinced that the number one is equal to one, right? Uh, here's the question. Um, is there anything else that's also equal to one? You'd be surprised by the answer on that one. Um, let's take a look at what... 0.9 with a 9 repeating it. So 0.9999999, right? Clearly not equal to 1. But watch what happens um, when we apply this uh, technique of converting uh, repeated decimals to, um, to this one particular number. So uh, I need something that will move. It's The period length is 1, right? So I'm going to multiply by 10 which gives me 9.9 .9 with uh, the, the 9 repeating. And then I want to do the subtraction thing. Okay, and what happens? 10n minus n, I get 9n. Uh, on the right side, uh, the point nines cancel out, and I'm left with 9. So when I divide, I get 9 over 9, which is equivalent to 1. All right, let that think in for a second. So the repeated decimal of 0.9 is uh, equivalent to the number 1. 0.99999. Uh, 
So whatever's going on here, um, it seems to be that we can approximate. Um, sometimes when we say approximate and actual, uh, they're the same thing. If you think about it on a number line, you know, here's one, uh, here is 0.9. You know, we'll put 0.8 as just a frame of reference. Where exactly is 0.999? with that repeating? And the answer is, well, how close do you want me to get? Because no matter where we go, I can get closer and closer. There's going to be a closer and closer decimal approximation. It'll be so close that as far as we can tell, it's the same as 1. Um, this is what's called uh, the limit of infinite sums. It's something that um, you learn more about when you, you go on to more higher, you know, like calculus and stuff like that, though. And actually, Cal 2 is when they first address this sort of thing. But um, anyways, just sort of interesting idea that, that there are other numbers equal to 1 uh, than just 1 itself. And it's more about when we look at the value of the number, it's the really defined by how close to 1 do you want me to get. Because no matter how close you tell me to, I can always get closer. So as far as we're concerned, it's 1. But anyways, sort of interesting result about that. Okay, um, so ordering repeated, uh, figuring out which re decimal is larger than another one, uh, or comparing the magnitudes of them. Um, let's let, let, let's start with um, yeah. Let me give you two numbers. Okay, so one point three four seven eight with the point three four seven eight, and one point three four. 7, 8, 2, 1 with that piece. Um, let's see. With the uh, 7, 8, 2, 1. Sorry. 7, 8, 2, 1 is the part that's repeating. Okay. Which one is bigger? All right. Well, um, the way we're going to decide which one is bigger is we're going to put them on top of each other and compare digit to digit. So 1.3478. 3, 4, 7, 8. And that's, that's that number right there. Um, and you'll see why I needed an extra repeat. So 3, 4, 7, 8, 2, 1. And the next number would be 7, 8 on that. Okay. So I'm going to go down the row and I'm going to look and see where's the first time they differ. And it's right there. Uh, about the fifth place out, I see that I've got one number that has a 3 another number that has a 2. Well, clearly 3 is bigger than 2. So the first number has got to be bigger than the second number. So whenever I'm comparing repeated decimals, that's sort of the technique you want to do. You want to line them up, um, repeat the, the pattern as many times as it takes until you have uh, a comparable amount of digits, and then look for the differences. And when you find the differences, that's going to tell you who's bigger than the other. Okay, uh, so let's do another example of this. Uh, let's take, let's start off with a fraction. 21 over 43 and 31, uh, 37 over 75. Okay, so when I go to the calculator, I get 0.488. 8, 3, 7, 2, 1, and the repeating part, 3, 7, 2, oh, that's, okay, that's just rounded up, okay, and then 37 over 75, I get 0 0.49333, okay, so the 3 is where it's repeating, okay, so I see the first digit, digits of both 4s right there, the 8 and the 9. So because the 9 is clearly bigger, that means 21 over 43 is smaller than 37 over 75. So I look for where the digits differ, and then I can tell you know, which one is bigger than the other based on that one position that's different. Uh, let's do one more. Or I'll, let me have you try one. So pause the video, and we'll give it to you, and then you try it. Um, 0.35 with the 3.5 repeating, 
0.351 with the 351 repeating. Okay, so which one's bigger than the other? Well, we got 0.3535, and here for the first number, second number we got 0.351. 3, 5, 1, but I just need to have a digit compare. And I see that uh, the 3 and the 1 is where they differ, and clearly the 3 is bigger than the 1, so the left number is greater than the right number.